Breaking news, oh my people. PDP Board of Trustee Chairman is set to resign as NWC members revolt against IU. We all know that the only option, the only other alternatives beside IU resigning is to force him to resign. And by, and by forcing him to resign, which means that uh, if all the NWC members happen to resign, if they revolt against Ayu, Ayu have, will have no option than to resign, which means all the NWC committee is go, are going to be dissolved. Is going to be dissolved, pardon me, and then another election will be done, you know, to usher new people into office. And I think this is what is happening right now. Ayu, Wiki is trying to force Ayu out of office. And I think this is the first stage of that action. The other option, for, according to our news source, was for Wiki to take him to court. I think he was planning that, but we don't know how, how, how far that is true. But according to news sources, before we go ahead and tell you more about this news and what has happened so far concerning this, please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on the post notification bell. So that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Walid Jubril, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, BOT, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is set to resign from his position. It has also emerged that some members of the PDP National Working Committee, NWC, met in Abuja on Tuesday and resolved not to attend any meeting presided over by Iocha Ayu, the national chairman, and Sports. Jubril has held the position for six years after taking over the board from Aliru Belo, who was removed in 2016. Sources close to the BOT chairman told Newsroom on Wednesday that Jubril has already briefed senior members of the party of his decision to quit. He said it is in the best interest of the party since there are complaints of regional lopsidedness, one of the sources said. Atiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of the party, is from Adamawa, Northeast. Jubril hails from Nasarawa, North Central, and Ayu is from Benue, North Central. In 2021, Ayu said he would resign as PDP national chairman if a northerner becomes the party's presidential candidate. However, despite calls for his resignation, the national chairman has stayed put, saying that those who want him out of office are children. Newsroom had reported how allies of Nelson Wiki, Governor of Rivers, demanded that the PDP national chairman should step down as a precondition for resolving their rift with Abubakar Atiku. Insiders said some of the stakeholders welcomed Jubril's decision but also insisted that should Ayu resign from his position too in the interest of equity. They said Abubakar must commit to stay in office for one term if elected, if elected president because power has been in the North for eight years. The stakeholders said now that President Muhammadu Buhari has been in office for eight years. It would not make sense for power to be in the North for another eight years, another source said. With Ayu's woes on ending, some members of the NWC have decided to move against him. They are accusing him of failing to disclose that he got money from some presidential aspirants for the presidential convention in May. A national officer who attended the meeting said many NWC members have lost confidence in Ayu. He said many members are unhappy that Ayu called aggrieved members of a party children in the midst of peace 
efforts. Crisis engulfed the country's main opposition party after Abubakar became the party's standard bearer and purportedly overlooked Wiki, who was preferred by majority of the NWC members. The former vice president won the presidential primary poll after Aminu Tambua, governor of Sokoto, dramatically pulled out of the exercise and backed him. Despite the preference of Wiki for the position of the party's vice presidential candidate, Abubakar chose Ifanyo Okowa, governor of Delta State. Abubakar Tiku has been making attempts to get the Rivers governor on his good side, but both men are yet to resolve their differences despite having at least two meetings Kudos to this man because this man knew that this man that resigned, who is the BOT chairman for the PDP, he, he knows that he has been in office since 2016. Imagine that. He has been in office now for six years, you know. And this man, you know, have been seeing all the rancor that have been happening, the crisis and the party. And for peace to reign, this man decided to just, you know, quit. He has been the I think it should be the longest serving uh, party uh, chairman or party, pardon me, not party chairman. It should be the longest serving person in position in that party. So he, he said, let me just resign so that these people can sort their differences or probably since IU is just insisting on staying on in office, let me just resign instead of IU. So if I resign, and they maybe put someone who is not a northerner in my position, then maybe that my you know, just dissolve all this, uh, all this uh, crisis happening, that, that might dissolve the tension, you know. And I don't know if this is going to appeal to Wiki. We don't know if this, this Wiki is going to accept this and just leave IU alone, you know, since there's another post that is going to be vacant very soon. We don't know what's going to happen, but be sure that I'm going to give, be bringing you the details on this channel very soon. So please let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn on the post notification. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.